Hey guys, Steve Bevins again. Uh, back, like I said, I was going to do uh, every Monday. That's the plan. Uh, I'm going to do another 52 things I think I know video. Uh, and uh, this is my 52nd, well, it's actually my 53rd year to be mathematically correct. Um, but <laughs> I'm 52, so we're going to go with it. Um, this, this week uh, is pretty simple one and that is I'm pretty sure I know that no one ever won an argument now you're gonna push back on this <laughs> I would have to a couple years ago but uh, hear me out the reason why no one ever wins an argument including myself and I've done it a million times at least uh, it's because even if you win you lose <laughs> because in order to win an argument, and I'm not talking about a, you know a philosophical, friendly, you know discussion, right? That's not what I'm talking about. Where you disagree with someone and you're actually trying to understand them in a discussion. But if you're trying to argue, in other words, you're convinced you're right. You don't think you're right. You think you know. You don't think you know. You know you know, right? And I'm guilty of this. I did this last night. As a matter of fact, and I had to apologize. So this is why I'm talking about it today. Uh, you think you know, or you know you know, that you're right and they're wrong. You're never going to win that. Because the more you attempt to convince them that they're wrong, okay, the more they're going to retreat and, and be absolutely sure that they're, that they're right. So the only way to win it quote unquote, would be to destroy them as a person, their character, their, you know, whatever, self-esteem, right, in front of other people, usually, to win the argument. But what if you actually won if you do that? Nothing, right? Uh, you've made a point for yourself and your own, you know, ego or my own ego, as it, as it is, you know, when I do it, but you've possibly destroyed, you know, a friendship, or an acquaintance, possible friendship <laughs> with some stranger, right? Uh, <clears throat> so you've, you've gained absolutely nothing, really. Uh, so <clears throat> my point is, uh, when you find yourself slipping into an argument, Stop, if you can. Retreat <laughs> and think, is this really worth arguing about? The answer is always no. It really is because it, at that point, you've already lost, right? You, you, if you're if you're at the point where you're gonna, you know, throw, you know, verbal fist essentially and prove your point, you're not gonna prove anything. So you might as well back up because. The discussion's over, and now you've slipped into an argument. Because you're not listening, they're not listening probably, and it's best to extricate yourself completely from the situation. Maybe come back to the another day in a different frame of mind, an open mind, to discuss the issue, or just leave it. Because you you cannot, you can never change someone else's mind, okay? That we, we live by this fallacy every day. I do it. I, I, I screw this shit up all the time. <clears throat> uh, you think, oh, I can, I can convince them that, I, that I'm right and they're wrong. It's, you, you, it's never going to happen. So, uh, stop. <laughs> and it's, this is not an easy thing to do. It's a simple thing to do, but it's not very easy. Right? It's to catch yourself before you get into that argument before you actually drop into the argument, like dropping into a really bad wave on a your serpent. Try to catch yourself before you do it and pull back. Now, the first, you know, first, you know, at first you're not you're not gonna be able to do it. You you're just not. So <laughs> the the first thing you want to do, hey Jackie, how are you doing? Uh, I'm talking about not getting into arguments. And I know you you know what I'm talking about. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Uh and you can watch, you can go back and watch the beginning of it. I'm almost done. But uh, if you can, 
when it first begins, that when you can feel like the argument coming on, the urge to get in one, if you can stop it then, that's awesome. But it's probably not going to happen, right? Uh, not at the beginning. You know, this is, this is like Zen stuff. <laughs> so the first step is really once you get into an argument to realize, fuck, I just allowed myself to be dragged into an argument. And what am I doing here? <laughs> Everyone needs help with this, Jackie. Well, unless they're already a booner or something, maybe. Um, everyone I know does, especially me. Uh, I'm getting better at it, but long ways from, from really mastering it. That's one of the reasons why I'm saying these things, uh, is to remind myself. Uh, and this, this, is, this is in Dale, this part, this, this piece was in Dale Carnegie's um, How to Win Friends and Influence People, written like 100 years ago almost. One of the greatest books ever written. Better than the Bible, quite frankly. Um, sorry, if you're a Bible follower. But uh, the, 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 the advice in there is timeless. And one of them is don't get into arguments because you can't win them. It's not, there's no such thing as winning an argument. Only in your own mind you think you've won. But in, real, in reality, hey John, uh, in reality you've not won. You've lost. So once you're in an argument... Try to step back at some point and go, oh, fuck, I, I just got sucked into an argument. How can I get myself out of it, <laughs> right? That's the first kind of step to learning this, to not get into them to begin with, is to realize when you're in it, ah, damn it, you know, I stepped into shit. How do I get out of this? And then find a way to back out of the argument. First, shut your mouth. Stop talking. That will help because then the other person doesn't have anything to argue with, right? If you retreat from the argument and go, well, we'll just have to, and then you can say something like, we'll just have to agree to disagree, right? That's a, a, a kind of friendly way of ending it and back out of it. <clears throat> and then the next time, you know, before you, get, you feel yourself getting pulled into it, zip, if you can. <laughs> if not, do the same thing over again. But eventually you'll get to the point where, hopefully, you can catch yourself before you speak and before the argument actually begins, really begins. And you can say, well, you know, we'll just have to agree to disagree and, and back your way out of it. The real trick is avoiding those situations altogether. I mean, sometimes you can't. You know, you work with someone who you really disagree with all the time. There's no way around it. So then you have to learn how not to be dragged into it and allow yourself to be dragged into it. So <clears throat> this is, it's simple, but very difficult to master. But the, the, it's, it's, a, it's almost a kind of meditation um, by focusing your attention on what's going on in the present. Because most of the time we're thinking about the future or something that happened in the past or both instead of now. This is another thing for another day, but it's all linked together. If you can be in the moment and go, okay, I'm in an argument. How do I get out of here? That's your first step. And, and the best way is, is just, it's first, just shut the hell up. Stop adding to the argument. <laughs> Back out and go, yeah, we'll just have to disagree, you know, agree to disagree. And hopefully get yourself physically out of that space. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, sorry the connection's bad. Hopefully you'll uh, you watch it later, uh, Jackie. Uh, it might be my connection. It might be yours. I don't know. Who knows? Um, my, 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 my mode, my uh, router's like 10 feet from the phone, but it still screws up all the time. It's not telling me it's screwing up, so who knows? Anyway, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end anyway at this point. So uh, try to avoid arguments because <laughs> you can't win them. All right, guys. See you next week.